welcome to Panama City Beach. Located on the Gulf of Mexico, this was once a spring break destination. Not known for surfing, but this time of year, the Gulf of Mexico gets waves. Tate Danford, one of the best surfers in Panama City. Here comes Tate again. Local realtor Justin Wilkerson. So I'm goofing off a little bit on the soft top out here. Now like the old days, these soft top boards are made strong and sturdy, and they're a lot of fun to play around with. This is my son's board, actually. And that's my friend Josh McIntyre, J-Mac. I'm wearing a hood for the sun visor, but the water is really not too cold for this February. The rain dropping in on a wave as my son paddles out. This is my 13 year old Matthew. He's pretty tall for his age. There's John Bellamy climbing up a cliff. With unseasonally warm temperatures in February, tour season started early. Karen Buxton of Finn's Island Style Grub. Definitely check it out if you're in the Panama City area if you want some fish tacos.
getting out of the water, you can now see these rocks on the bottom, which is unusual for this part of the Gulf of Mexico, which usually has sandy bottom. These are probably a result of erosion, as well as this gun turret, which is usually buried. This dates back to World War II during the time that German U-boats would patrol the Gulf of Mexico.